Just days before the reveal of Halo Infinite, a notable Halo leaker suggests that a grappling hook thrust and how nothing in Halo Infinite is absolute. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into the video here. With Halo Infinite's reveal on the 23rd of July at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, bright and early for you guys, we will actually be doing a live stream watch party of this Xbox event an hour early as they do have a pre-show. So we'll start our live stream at 8 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time. There will certainly be breaking down all the information Information that we will be receiving about Halo Infinite. We'll be having our initial reactions and community discussions as well. So I'd love to see you guys all there. Link in the description and in the pinned comment of this video. With just days before Halo Infinite's revealed, this is a time that we would see some actual concrete, at least somewhat pretty close predictions or leaks when it comes to Halo Infinite. And we are so close to the reveal. People are gonna be talking about this and especially one person in particular, a reliable Halo insider known as Clobril. Recently on the Reset Era forums, Clobril went on there to kind of discuss about Halo Infinite with some of the people in there and brought up some very interesting facts I think a lot of people were going to want to know. Now if you remember a while back there was a leaked image of what looked to be a grappling hook in what could be possibly Halo Infinite. Very blurry, kind of you know sketchy image. Yeah, we reported on the channel a while ago because as a Halo channel, we are very thirsty for Halo news, especially revolving Halo Infinite. And apparently that leaked image was fake, though to keep in mind that apparently the grappling hook is in the game at for Clobril's limited knowledge, as he suggests, but it's more of an equipment pickup similar to Halo 3. He has no idea how it would be included in the campaign, but he does recognize that it's in the game. Though that leak was not exactly accurate, but the grappling hook does seem to be in Halo Infinite. This was something I was certainly worried about, as if everyone had a grappling hook, it would certainly just ruin map balance and be completely messed up. Now, if you had it as an equipment pickup like you do in Halo 3, I can see that being very useful and how that could be a legit power weapon pickup to help give your team some advantage and it really open up some maps for very unique gameplay. So there is one way of the doing that, which could be a much more traditional Halo way, while also bringing in new mechanics or adding to the sandbox rather than changing the fundamentals of the game, like we did with Halo 5, Halo 4, and Halo Reach. Also, with the speculations of Halo Infinite having an open world, a grappling hook would be pretty nice to be able to tra traverse certain types of geometry within the world. Again, that's complete speculation. I haven't read anything concrete enough to where I would make its assumptions that there is going to be open world, but I certainly got those feels when it came to the announcement trailer. Plus Halo has teased a little bit with the open world in the past with the level design of Combat Evolved for a few missions, especially on the mission Halo certainly like that as well as also ODST had a very open world kind of feel as well and rumor has it that Halo 5 initially was going to be an open world kind of game where you play as Locke and then you find these memory checkpoints where you would play as Master Chief but that had to be scrapped away last minute. Continuing on with this forum it also talks a little bit about the multiplayer now we're only going to get the campaign reveal when it comes to the July 23rd reveal of Halo Infinite though I just have to suspect we have a little bit of a teaser when it comes to multiplayer, there's something to look forward to when it comes to the next reveal of this game. And Clobril continues with a reply on this thread, talking about how someone says that it would be awesome if Warzone 2.0 came around with more classic style, but also had the equipments like grappling hook, bubble shield, deployable covers, things like that. And Clobril replies back saying, Halo Infinite Arena is all about going back to classic map control gameplay, power weapons and power ups. There are a lot of cool map power-ups to complement the sandbox, grapple hook, thrust, or classics like overshield. All of this is very dynamic and might vary heavily based on playlists, etc. of course, but more on that on a later date. No mentions of sprint in here, though I would be very surprised if Halo Infinite did not have sprint 
crazy to think about, by the time Halo Infinite releases, Halo would have Sprint in the game longer than without Sprint in the game for the, the original trilogy, which is kind of crazy to think about how long people have been arguing over whether or not Sprint should be in Halo. Kind of crazy to think about. Uh, but they, the important thing here to mention is about the thrust coming back. Now, sounds like it might be kind of be more of an equipment to pick up, as it was mentioned along with the grappling hook and overshield, which have been normally pickups within classic Halo sandbox. Of course, not the grapple hook, but you know, equipment in general. I think if you're fighting against in a gunfight with somebody who has a thrust ability, it'd be very important to have some kind of visual confirmation to know that that person at any moment is going to completely change directions in some other way, or everyone could have it. And we do know Halo Infinite is looking to combine the classic and modern styles of Halo into one encompassing experience which is going to be a very delicate balance to ride on and it's not going to please everybody but hopefully it'll please most of them and most likely it would please me as well as I like classic and I like modern Halo, so I'm certainly looking forward to this game. And lastly, how we mentioned about how nothing in Halo Infinite is absolute. Replying to a comment here saying, I remember when you're saying Sprint should be expected for a campaign as it's big environments and all that, unless you mean classic map control equaling no Sprint. Plobril replies back saying, I do think people will pretty fast realize that nothing is absolute in Halo Infinite. The game will likely have the biggest player base of a Halo game it's ever had. There's a lot of room for experiments and many playlist options. There are building systems to dynamically change slash balance stuff that allow a diverse set of different multiplayer and arena experiences. Even more so when looking at the ridiculous options Forge will bring. Now, this statement does actually fall very much in line of what we've been hearing from 343 themselves, especially when it comes to the slip space engine, as that engine has been built back from the foundations that are still very good when it comes to Halo and built it back up to have uh, proper workflows and abilities for uh, the game of Halo Infinite to be adaptable and change and add more content very frequently, much, much, much more frequently than previous titles, especially like Halo 5, where they tried to make it a live service game, but it was kind of like fitting the square inside the circle. It's just not going to work out too well. That's why we've been waiting five years for this game to be released, because they decided to rework what we they know of Halo from the ground up to build a brand new engine to manage the workflow necessary to keep the game up to date and give the fans what they want. So keep in mind what you guys will see in the game when it comes to things you think you can probably modify to make the game better. 343 could probably do that and have a rather fast turnaround which is going to be absolutely necessary and amazing for the franchise as a whole. Now when they mention dynamically changed and balanced stuff that allows a diverse amount of different kind of ways to play the multiplayer does kind of make me feel like there might be ways beyond just like game modes and abilities you can modify possibly even like bullet speed hit detection stuff like that just because of like a lot of people tried to really squeeze in that classic halo gameplay with halo 5 and it just doesn't work out because of the way the bullet magnetism is the way the red reticle ranges and aim assist with that game the and the way the hit scan works in that game that you have to basically play the Halo 5 that's built around those kind of stuff. So that core fundamentals of the game are surrounding the abilities right there. So would it be possible to po make an edited version of Halo, possibly even in Forge, where you can make a game where like, say if the traditional multiplayer is hit scan, but then you were like, well, I really like a projectile battle rifle. I want to make a mode based around that. We have to lead your shots and stuff like that. Certainly would be interesting. It would be able to lead and create more kind of game modes within the community, which would be something that I think Halo Infinite is really, really focusing on is giving players Players the tools that they need to create the game that they want to experience, which again kind of leans into the whole infinite idea kind of thing. And I think it's just really exciting to see what's coming around for Halo Infinite for us guys, which I'm sure with the July reveal, we will have a good inf line of information when it comes to what we will see coming from the slip space engine and what exactly it will allow the content creators, actually content creators of Halo to be able to create for Halo Infinite and moving forward as well as they do plan to use this slip space engine for other titles beyond Halo Infinite 
as well. So some juicy leaked information, hopefully when it comes to Halo Infinite, we might be seeing some thrusting, we might be seeing some grappling hooks, and we might actually be able to know that with the new Slip Space engine that we can have a much smoother experience with Halo Infinite, we can be actually give feedback and have a very fast turnaround when it comes to making the game that the community wants to play. So if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below. What you guys think about these leaks? Do you think they're legit? Do you think you'd be excited about having equipment back into Halo? Let me know in the comment section down below as I do read all the comments try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe and check out the videos on the screen over here if you missed any content from me recently. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. But thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.